Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen. Over the last few days, the sun has just been absolutely snap, crackle, popping it with solar flares, coronal mass ejections, filament tear offs, solar wind, geomagnetic storms. You name it, the sun has been doing it. And we've just had another M class flare fire off from this sunspot down here. And. We are on the lookout for a 25% chance of an X-Class solar flare happening in the next 48 hours. So that is exciting. Happy Taurus season, y'all. All right, so down here, if you'll notice, you got a lot of sun flares, solar flares popping off. Uh, the sun has just been absolutely active. We've got a very intense giant multi-sunspot region over here. It's looking kind of super freaky deaky. And so these are crazy days indeed. And remember, somewhere around dawn, you'll see Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, and Mars lined up in your sky if you check about an hour before the sun rises. It is definitely starting to feel a whole lot like spring weather. Although it's been exceptionally cool here this week in Houston, you will know that I love the cool. So I will be totally okay if the entire spring is cool all the time. Though if I had to guess, I got a feeling it's going to be a real hot summer. Yep, here we're looking at the stereo satellite provided to us by NASA. They called it stereo because they used to have two cameras lying around the sun at the same time. But then one of them broke. And they were like, should we replace it? And they're like, nah. Which is still one of the weirdest decisions I've ever seen. NASA make. Anywho, here you got your occulting disc, which blocks out the sun, which is in the middle. And then you got your sun baby down here. And then you have your cat hair of doom. Planet X, call it what you want to, call it what you will. You can see the sun has been absolutely active, just popping off energy left and right. And remember, we're in a star field with tons of other stars. So I'm pretty sure all the stars are connected and the planets interact with the stars. And so a lot of times you got to wonder, is the sun firing off energy to other planets, to other stars? Who knows, man? A lot of times, you know, people like to think that outer space is empty. I imagine outer space to be more like an ocean. But, you know, we've spent so little time in outer space, we barely even dipped our toe in the water. We don't really know much. But what we do know is that eclipse season is super crazy. And so we have eclipse season coming up, the partial solar eclipse on the 30th. And then on the 15th and 16th, we get a total solar eclipse. The first one will be happening in Taurus. And the second one will be happening in Scorpio. So if you have heavy Taurus or Scorpio placements, definitely buckle up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we got multiple planets here that we were watching. These cameras are always cool. It feels like a 1950 science fiction film. And then we're always supposed to be scared when the galactic core comes around because it looks kind of creepy, in my opinion. And if you look here, you can always see things floating and flapping their wings and flying and generally acting weird. Yeah, outer space is still a mystery, you know? Even though it's been like 60 years since we landed on the moon, how much we really know about all the things out there we don't really know because mainly we just have white paper semi approved through whatever nature.com uh, overall collective science is strange i'll just say that you know but hey what isn't strange these days okay so you got the sun off camera here and that's the planets coming back so i think jupiter will be coming into frame here in a second so I'll say hello to Jovial Jupiter. All right, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Should we be, pre be preparing for Grand Solar Maximum? Maybe. How much do you really need to prepare to have fun and good times, though? I don't know. I'm a Sagittarius. We are planners, so I'd say it helps to plan. So I don't know. Be prepared for things to improve. Um, and also pray for good times. You know, 
Yeah, here we're looking at one of the SDO cameras of the sun. It's amazing. It's magic. It's science. It's divine. And I would say the sun is one of God's children. Is that too radical? I mean, you got to think God loves the stars and the planets and the people and the animals and all the things. Man, isn't life complicated? That's what's cool on these videos where the visuals are stunning, I contain all the data. I can pretty much just free think and say what I want. All right. Hopefully sometimes I'll come up with some things that are interesting. But mostly this is for us to just marvel at the sun. You never know what it's going to do, man. The sun is a total mystery. Though we're pretty sure it's going to keep the lights on. But hey, you never know. Stranger shit has happened. Just not in our lifetime, I, I guess. I'm just speaking on an exponential quantum imagination level. Yeah, this sunspot, I mean, this whole area is very interesting. And notice it's kind of connected to that area. Well, the whole sun is connected, really. Boy, do I sound like a genius? Fantastic. This might be an excellent time then to remind you, I do a fundraiser every single month to keep the war news up and running. And while that may sound a little strange, for years, I used to pretty much be the only person on YouTube and technically in science, you're saying that solar cycle 25 was going to be strong. I know that sounds kind of unbelievable today, but yeah, back in the day, there used to be entire gangs that were like, no, the sun is going to sleep. The sun is going to be low energy and activity. I was like, hell no, dude. Never bet against the sun. The sun is our friend. The sun is our protector. The sun will be there for us when we need it. And what do you know? Anyway, that gang fight is over. They did not win. The sun is super duper active right now. Hey, but we all make mistakes. We all get things wrong. You know? And Jesus always forgives us. Happy Easter week. We had Easter Sunday. Last Sunday. For the majority of people. But Orthodox Christians don't celebrate their Easter until the 24th. So it's technically Easter week. And as your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7, the T. I am a Norse Jedi Christian, so... This channel absolutely celebrates Easter all week. And then we get excited about the 4th of July. All right. Have you seen the new Thor Love and Thunder trailer yet? It's got both a Thor and a Star-Lord in it. And female Thor. And it's really great. I highly recommend it. If you like that type of stuff and you want something to put a smile on your face. Thor and the Star-Lord have great chemistry. My opinion, Thor and Star-Lord have great chemistry. All right. So yeah, the sun is super duper active. That is super good news. But this will be facing us in about three days. And so any type of major X flare blast uh, would be geo effective. Although it would be super duper, it would be like, it would need a super duper mega strong chronal mass ejection solar flare to really do damage to us. But that's always possible. And as I always say, if somehow the sun knocks out our power grid. We probably deserved it. Yeah. All right. So everybody stay cool. Be cool. Oh, yeah. On the 23rd is my eight year anniversary as your planetary defense commander. And World War Three has not broken out and civilization has not collapsed. So awesome. All right. Stay cool. And if you want to contribute to Thor News. Uh, I got a bunch of ways you could do it. You're smart. You can figure it out. And I only have $438 left to raise. All right. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Happy Easter week. Stay cool. God bless everyone.